Hey, I have some good news. Nat, say the news. I bought a house. Oh, you got it? Congratulations. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? <laughs> oh, my God. I know. Move it out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm uh, laughing and then I start crying. Uh, <laughs> that's crazy, bro. Natalie bought a, a $19 million house. Yeah. What? Oh, my God. <laughs> what? That much? Yeah. yeah, it's crazy. That's wild. I know. It turns out she's been <laughs> funneling money out of my accounts for a while now. That's why he doesn't have that much. He's like, Natalie, where's all the money? And I'm like, oh, I don't know. Great. Now people know that I asked you the other day, where's my money? <laughs> <laughs> um, is kidding. Todd going to live with you? How is that going to go? Um, no, Todd. I already have somewhere to live. <laughs> this sound, dude, this sounds like you use that same voice when Todd asks you if he can live with you. Can I live with you? You go, no, Todd already has home. <laughs> and you like it? Are you excited about moving out? Does it feel like you're going to become a homeowner? This is a big fucking deal, Natalie. I know. You can have really- sex with whoever you want now and I won't be listening. Not that I was before. I that was-, was a big concern of mine. That was a big motivator for me to move out. Because really? now I can just have sex with all these different people. Yes. No, yeah, you're gonna ru- not. you're gonna run through Studio City. I can't wait, man. Can't wait <laughs> Hello, Los everybody. Angeles. Wait, wait, wait. Okay. David, you miss living with him. Um, you know, I've been going back and forth on the topic of like whether or not I'm gonna be sad. Um, I'm gonna be living with Reggie, so that was like one of the big things. Like one of the, like the main reasons why I haven't moved out was one like obviously it's really nice to live with friends, and David's such a great roommate. <laughs> oh my god, stop. Um, <laughs> But now Reggie's here, so like Reggie and I can live together. I have a roommate. I won't live by myself because I just I get too scared living by myself. And then um... brain fart. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, um, what was the Cheerios, other the big box of Cheerios I have. Uh, um, okay, um, so then you're moving out. That's exciting. It's kind of coincidental because I've been recently thinking about living by myself. Like I, I just want to start living on my own now. I like when the house is just quiet and empty. What are you talking about? You have seven people around you at all times. <laughs> no, I love that. I love that during the day. But like at night, like yeah. I love when the house is just dead. You I, like that. I, I don't know what it is about it, but it just feels like it's just like there's it, it's it's starting to become like you know how I like bread? Like I like bread for the reason because I feel like I, I feel like I'm in the middle of a desert and I've just found bread yeah. and now I have to eat it and keep myself from starving. Like uh, that's that's why I like bread is because it reminds me of like it reminds me of that sound and that sound makes me love bread. I don't know how to explain it, but I like this weird kink about bread. And now I'm starting to get that same feeling towards living alone. You just sit here and cry when everyone's yeah, gone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's <laughs> it's it's a lot less embarrassing to cry when no one's around. I hear you. Um, but <laughs> what, that's sick, you, man. Where do you like to cry the most? Which which parts of the house? Um, usually just the restrooms. <laughs> yeah, it's, just, it's an easier cleanup that way. You yeah. Just, you stay, stay right over the shower or the bath, and all the tears just go right down the drain. Well, good luck, man. Good luck. Thanks. Um, so you got rid of Natalie. <laughs> yeah. Now you got to get rid of Ilya. That was going to be tough. <laughs> <laughs> Is it huge? It's not huge. Yeah. Um, but it's a, it's 2,700 square it's feet. Great. Whoa, that's has, huge. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's like a, it's a really good size. 2,700 square feet? That that's the big. size of my house right now. It's bigger than your house right now, yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, you're a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> 2,700 square feet? It's different. But not as cool a view, right? No view? No view. It's, <laughs> I don't it. care about the view as much as you do. Yeah, I care about my saying. space and my like style. By the way, Natalie Natalie has an assistant now who is, who is Re- Reggie. Someone said that to Natalie today. She was working out, the trainer, Jillian. I was like talking about reggie and he was like wait aren't you an assistant you got an assistant <laughs> he was like how, many, crazy. Yeah, he's like how many assistants you guys got it's like a family tree yeah. it's like a big branch of assistants. You gotta get reggie an assistant now <laughs> that would be next that's um, where i come in <laughs> like what if you drop dead right now if you drop dead right now what would we do <laughs> like nally goes over she checks his pulse and he's like he's dead we call 911, obviously. Call 911. Taylor, what would you do? Would you freak out? Would you be able to handle the situation, or would you be so stunned? No, I would do my best to figure out what's wrong with him. <laughs> no, I've declared it. He's dead. No, he's dead. I'm dead. You're I'm dead, dead. It's over. Dead. No, no, no. We rush him until they do that little thing where they put the iron on your heart. I'm dead, Taylor. I've been laying here for a while. We I'm could cold. get the waffle maker out and try to revive him. Right. That would be that <laughs> Okay, would be enough smart. about reviving me. I'm dead. What do you do? I just don't think you would be dead yet. Okay. Who do you think would? Who do you? Who do you? Who do you <laughs> okay, so you'd be in denial. <laughs> yeah. That's what I'm trying to get at. I feel like Natalie would be the best in the situation. I'll Probably. give you props. What do you mean? What would Natalie well, do? Well, she'd be psyched you were gone. <laughs> she'd be like, finally, she'd be, I win, bitch. Yeah, yeah, she'd be like, you know what? I don't even think I need that new house. I'll just stay here. <laughs> she'd cancel her house. I haven't closed yet, so. 
Right. And you are kind of like a jock nerd. You're like yeah. a you're like a jock nerd. Yeah, I'm like in between. Yeah. 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 I thought that the other day. You know who else is a jock nerd? Who? Jimmy Fallon. Ah. Uh, so true. Vibes. Jimmy Fallon, like you can have a beer with, but then he also like geeks out over stuff. Right. Too. That's that's that. You guys are a lot alike. Thank you. Yeah. I mean, I love Jimmy Fallon, but what way more we, than you. Wait, what are you saying? <laughs> <laughs> Why are you saying that I like that? Him. I mean, I mean, I, I love... wanted to be clear if we were talking about him to say that I, I wasn't. I'm not saying he's a nerd. I'm saying like that's what's good about Jimmy Fallon is uh, that like he's both. Yeah, I, th- I think Jay's right on this. What about David Blaine? He's kind of a jock nerd. I don't think so. No, David Blaine's more of a jock. Is he? Guy's into magic. What are you talking about? I know, but like even the way, <laughs> <laughs> even the way he does I'm magic. I'm sporty about that. Even the way he does magic, though, is like cool. Yeah, but the guy dorks out about magic, and he, he loves magic. The other day, I went to Enterprise to get my rental car. Oh, yeah. This is so funny. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I was thinking about that. And so I was sitting here on the couch, and I was looking at, you know, what my insurance covers, and I was asking David for his advice, and obviously he said the luxury um, version, which is extra. So I went with the full car. That was the most that my insurance covered. And I went to go pick it up, and I was like, oh, boy, here we go, like... I don't know, you know, it's just kind of sad still. So I talked to the guy and he goes, oh, we just got this Jeep. And I was like, oh, how much extra is it a day? And he goes, you're David Dobrik's assistant, right? And I go, oh, yeah. And I go, then, well, yes, yes, I am. Yes, yeah, I am. <laughs> <laughs> and That's I was crazy. like, yeah, I crashed the car he got me. <laughs> and the craziest part about this is he gave her the free upgrade. It's, and it's because I gave his sister a laptop over a year ago. At wow. CSUN. Wow. Isn't CSUN. that crazy? I surprised his sister with a laptop. MacBook. And what a it, small it came world. full circle. Gave, uh, got he Taylor like, a good yeah. upgrade. I can't wait until we're in like Slovakia and we get kidnapped. <laughs> And like we're on our hands and knees, bound and gagged. And the terrorist like hoods over our heads. <laughs> the terrorist takes off his own hood and he's like, "Hold on, <laughs> Jason Nosh and David Dobrik." <laughs> <laughs> Yo, we gotta let them go. You gave my you gave my cousin a PlayStation in 2018. <laughs> Let them go! <laughs> okay. My cousin. <laughs> Your karma leader impression made my family laugh for hours. <laughs> the only thing that got me through the bunker. That's really funny, dude. That's wow. really funny. That's awesome, though, Tay. Yeah, I've, I've yeah. always wondered that. Like, I've always been, like, so excited to see somebody, like, like that that's like my for, first like full circle moment where someone I've interacted with like came back. I wasn't yeah. even really a part of it, but I think that's so interesting. Like I'm excited to like see like a family we gave like twenty five thousand dollars to or like fifty thousand right. dollars to. Like that'd be so cool to run into them in like ten years and be like, What so what happened? <laughs> well, we blew it on cocaine <laughs> or whatever it is, but I think I'm I'm really excited for that.